Okay, so this is part three of uh, our lecture. So uh, on part two, we're talking about frequency histograms. And for frequency histograms, all the bin sizes were the same size. So in this uh, lecture, we'll talk about when the bin sizes are not all uniform. That means not all the same sizes. Uh, when they're not all the same sizes, we, we use something called a density or probability histogram. So we're going to make some definitions here. We're going to let B subscript I, so BI equal the ith bin, HBI the height of the ith bin, uh, LBI length of ith bin, N would be the total number of data values in vector. We'll look at an example in a second. FBI number of uh, values in BI and HBI would be FBI divided by N times LBI. Okay, so note here, uh, by design, the sum of the areas of the rectangles in a density histogram is always equal to 1. And uh, we'll demonstrate this with an example, but I'm, I'll give you 10 extra credit points on your first quiz if you can prove this result. And to get the points, you'll need to email me your work before you take the take your first quiz. To get the points. Okay, so now let's take a look at look at an example. We're going to look at now at uh, practice quiz one, uh, question three. So let's take a look at that. So here's a question on the practice quiz number three. It says form a density histogram of the same numerical uh, variable ages, but this time have breaks at 20, 25, 35, 50, 60, 65, 70, 85, 90, and 100. I'll explain what this means in a second. So it's the same uh, vector. So here's our ages vector here. So let's start forming a table. Uh, so let me just uh, put a table here and I'll explain how I got it. Okay, so here's the completed table. I'll explain how I got this now. So I have bin 1, bin 2, bin 3, bin 4, bin 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you might ask how I got those bins. Well, for example, the 20 to uh, twenty to 25 guy I got from, so let me just do this and say yellow. So that one I got from the breaks. Here's the breaks right here. So you can see that the first two numbers in the breaks are 20 to 25. So that means that 20 is going to be on the left, 25 is going to be on the right in your first bin. And again, they, we're using the convention that uh, on the left side, you have x greater than the number on the left side and less than or equal to the number on the right side. And then the 20 to 35 guy, I got that from uh, here, let me just do it, say, do it in this different color here. Let's say do that one in red. And that's, I got from the, oops, the 35 and 25 right here. Yeah, notice 25 is used twice because 25 is up here and down here. That's fine. And so forth. That's how I got the rest of them. So next one would be 35 to 50. So I got 35 to 50. And next one would be 50 to 60. So I got 50 to 60. The next one up here would be 60 to 65. That's why I got 60 to 65 here. Then it's 65 to 70. 65 to 70 here. Then 70 to 85. 70 to 85 here. So you can see the breaks up here tell you where tell you the sizes of the bins. Okay, so you can see uh, these are not uniform size bins. So for example, the first bin here, that would have size 5. And how I figure out the length of the bin would be take the number on the right side, subtract it from the number on the left side. That's why I did this here, 25 minus 20. That's why I got 5 for the length of that bin. And the uh, second bin, it's 35 on right, 25 on left. So that one has length 10. So you can see they're not the same size as these bins. 
this one is length 5, this one is uh, length 10. And you can go through and find the go through and find the lengths of each of these bins. So this would be 50 minus 35, so if I get that, 15, 60 minus 50, so I got 10, and so forth, all the way down. That's how I get the lengths here. And then the frequencies, well, if you look at all the, uh, you're looking at the vector values here now, so between 20 and 25, including 25, what's going to be those two? So those two, that'll be in bin one. So there's two of them, that's why I put frequency two here. And then from 25 to 35, uh, so actually if you look up here, after 25 it goes to 36. So there's nothing in between 25 and 35, because again, on this second bin, the X has to be greater than 25. So there's nothing there. And for third bin, you have 35 to 50. So that would include the 36, 38, 45, 46, 48, 40, 48 here. Uh, let's start in red site. So that would be the things in bin 2. So you can count them here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I got 8 things here. Okay, let's do uh, one more here. Say So 50, 50 to 60. That would be 52, 55, 55, 55, 58. So be these guys here. Uh, let's do that and say orange. That would correspond to these guys here. And uh, you can count them then. There's one, two, three, four, five. So there's a uh, five there. Okay, so that's how I got the all the frequencies down here and the lens over here. So now we're going to be looking at the height of the uh, height of the uh, uh, rectangles here. So I have these numbers here. So let me explain how I got these. So first we have to figure out what the n is. So the n is the number of uh, number of values in our vector. So if you count them here, go down here. So our n, so note here. And let's count how many we have in our age vector. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So n's 20. Okay, so then the formal to find the height would be our frequency. So looking at the first one here, our frequency is 2. So that's how we got the 2 on top of the fraction. Divided by n. So n's 20, so n's 20 right there, uh, times length on the bottom. So length is 5, so it'll be 2 over 20 times 5, which is, uh, we could simplify that, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'll explain why in a second. Uh, and the next one, uh, next one here, well, since it's frequency 0, uh, when you figure out the height, it's going to have 0 on top. It's going to make the whole fraction 0. Let's do one more here. Uh, so, then for third bin, the frequency is 8, so you're going to have 8 on top, divided by n times length. So n is 20 times length here is 15. That's how I got to 8 over 20 times 15. Then the fourth one, the frequency is 5. That's how I got 5 on top over n, 20 times length here, 10. So that's how I got all these guys going down here. Okay, uh, the ninth one there too. Okay, so now let's do the uh, histogram of, of, of this. Let's do the density histogram. Okay, so okay, so let's do that. So we're going to have to actually find a com common denominator common denominator between all these fractions. I'll explain now. Okay, so we're going to find the common denominator for all these fractions. So the first one has a 20 and a 5. Uh, the second one has a 20 and a 10 on the bottom. The third one has a 20 and a 15. Then has a 20 and 10 again. 20 and a 5, 20 and a 5, 20 and a 15, 20 and 15, 20 and 10. So pretty much we have three different types. You've got a 20 and a 5, a 20 and a 10, and a 20 and a 15. All the rest repeat. 
Okay, so let's find the LCM for those three numbers then. Okay, so here's the three different denominators that we had. So we need to find the LCM for these three numbers. So we're going to do the uh, prime factorization, so a tree. So this number can be broken down as 20 times 5. 20 can be broken down. 5 is prime, can't be broken down any further. But 20 can be broken down as 4 and 5. And then 4 can be broken down as 2 and 2. And then over here, uh, this can be broken down as 20 and 10. This is uh, 4 and 5. This is 2 and 2. This is 2 and 5. So the prime factors of the first one would be these. The prime factors of the second one would be these numbers here. And we'll do, lastly, this guy here. So it'd be 20 and 15. Let's move it over here a bit more. So it'd be 20 and 15. This would be 4 and 5. This would be 2 and 2. This would be 3 and 5. So it'd be these numbers here. So let's form the LCM then we write down here. So it'll be the least common multiple. So it's going to be the common denominator for all those. Well, it's going to include all these numbers here. So you got two twos and two fives. And so you have, you can write that as two squared, five squared. And it has to include all the numbers here. Well, here you have three twos. So you only have two twos here. So you're going to have to add another one. So three. And you're going to have two fives, which we have there. And then here we have two twos. We already have two, three twos is enough. Two fives are fine and times three. So this would be the LCM. So uh, two cubed is two times two times two is to be eight. Five squared is uh, five times five is 25 times three. So you check and multiply these out. Eight times uh, 25 would be uh, 200 times 3, this would be 600. So 600 is going to be our LCM. Okay, so we're going to go back and write all the fractions uh, relative to this LCM now. Okay, so we're out of time in this video. So I'm going to leave it here and we'll continue with this question in the next video. Okay.